OMG. Megan Thickened Face donates 18 pounds and cites workers after charity stolen scandal comes to light. Meghan Markle has reportedly donated $25, around £18, to buy charity workers a coffee to keep them going in her fight for paid leave. The mum of two, who lives in an £11 million mansion in Montecito, Louisiana and is believed to have a shared wealth of up to £250 million, sent organization paid leave US cash for caffeine. Royal experts claim she's attempting to forge a political career after making a plea for paid parental leave in America. And today, Charity Calm's boss Neil Schroker tweeted, The Duchess of Sussex, aka Meghan Markle, bought everyone at paid leave US a few cups of coffee while we're working overtime to save paid leave. Unbelievably classy. And necessary. Truly honored to know she has our backs in the fight to win paid leave for all. He shared an image of a Starbucks gift voucher for $25. The credit note read, Hi there. Just a little something to keep you going. Thank you for all that you do. From, Art Jewel. Dozens of people have replied to the tweet, with one writing, That's the Megan we know. She leaves magic anywhere she goes. Good work to everyone. Meghan revealed earlier this month that she and Harry have been overwhelmed by the birth of second child Lilibet as she pushed for paid leave for parents. In a letter to two Democratic lawmakers in Washington, D.C., she urged the government to ensure new parents can have time off work with their babies. America has no system for paid parental leave, although President Joe Biden has vowed to introduce it. In her letter, addressed to Democrats Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi, Meghan discussed being lucky enough to afford time off with Harry after the birth of Lily in June. She said, like any parents, we were overjoyed. Like many parents, we were overwhelmed. Like fewer parents, we weren't confronted with the harsh reality of either spending those first few critical months with our baby or going back to work. We knew we could take her home, and in that vital, and sacred, stage, devote any and everything to our kids and to our family. We knew that by doing so we wouldn't have to make impossible choices about child care, work, and medical care that so many have to make every single day. No family should be faced with these decisions. The Duchess, who was privately educated at a $16,000 a year school in California, said she'd worked all her life to cover rent and put petrol in her car. Discussing trips to the £3.60 sizzler salad bar with her mum and dad, she said, What I do remember was the feeling, I knew how hard my parents worked to afford this because even at five bucks, eating out was something special, and I felt lucky. I started working, at the local frozen yogurt shop, at the age of 13. I waited tables, babysat, and piecemeal jobs together to cover odds and ends. I worked all my life and saved when and where I could, but even that was a luxury, because usually it was about making ends meet and having enough to pay my rent and put gas in my car. However, things are very different now. Some claim Brand Sussex is worth an estimated £250 million, and the couple could become the world's richest personal brand. Andrew Block, branding expert and founder of Frank PR, told Fabulous, since moving to California and stepping down as working royals, Harry and Meghan have secured a number of lucrative business deals and personal endorsements which have seen their personal wealth rocket. I would estimate their combined net worth is circa £250 million. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex teamed up with WHO Director General Dr. Tedros Adhanom to sign the letter which called on the world's leaders to vaccinate the world. But the couple are now being mocked with Twitter user Calico Albreeze 1 labeling them a retired prince and a retired actress and Will Master saying Americans don't care about royal titles. But supporters have come out to defend the couple saying it's the way they should be addressed out of respect. In the open letter, Harry and Meghan claim promises of vaccine donations from nations are not reaching the globe's most vulnerable.